So we've seen the amazing result that if you have electric fields and magnetic fields at right angles to them, they can propagate themselves through space without the need for wires or anything else, but they have traveled a velocity equal to the speed of light, and the electric field has to be C times the magnetic field. So that's the theory. But there are still some questions. We've done all our calculations assuming that it was like a block of charge, an infinite slab lined up like this. The first question is, does it have to be like that? And the answer is, no, it doesn't. Any pattern can be made up of by combining blocks. You can have lots of blocks moving to backwards and forwards. And indeed, the most common pattern is the one shown here, which is where you have a sine wave oscillation in electric and magnetic fields. But bear in mind, they still have to be at right angles to each other. You can make up this pattern by essentially adding together a whole bunch of blocks. Also bear in mind the electric magnetic fields are not actually moving. All that's happening is at any given point, the electric field is getting bigger and then smaller, the magnetic field getting bigger and then smaller at right angles to each other. The electric and magnetic fields are not actually moving, they're just defined at every point in space. So at any given point they get bigger, stop, then go into reverse, come back to zero, and so on and so forth. But you can get a pattern like this, a sine wave pattern, or many other patterns. You can get blocks moving outwards, you can get combinations of blocks, huge variety of stuff. So that's one question. The next question is, how do you actually produce these things? We've shown that once you have the electric and magnetic field with the right strength in the right direction, they will keep on going through space, but how do you create them at all in the first place? And the answer is you do it by accelerating a charge. Let's say you have a charge, and it's sitting somewhere in space. It's generating an electric field, but the electric field is not changing, and there's no magnetic field around it, so no electromagnetic radiation is coming out from it. But now let's say you suddenly accelerate it downwards, so it starts with a sudden jerk, so it'll start moving in a downwards direction. Now when we went back here, you see all the electric field lines, as normal, as per Coulomb's law, are pointing straight out from where the charge is. Once it's moved down here, the pattern becomes a bit more complicated. Closer in, everything is indeed moving straight outwards from the center. But further out, it's pointing to where it used to be. These lines out here are not pointing back to where it is now, but where it used to be. And the reason is because electric fields cannot change faster than the speed of light. So if these things are more than speed of light times time away from when the thing was accelerated in the middle, they haven't had time to respond yet to what is happening. They're still pointing back to where it happened. So there's a kink which will move steadily out at the speed of light. And it's this kink that is the source of electromagnetic waves. What you can see is right here, you're getting an electric field which goes up like that. Because this charge is moving downwards, you also got a magnetic field. And if you look at the bio savoir law, that's going around like this, if the charge is moving downwards, so it's going to be at right angles, coming out of the screen or into the screen. So you get exactly what you need, perpendicular electric and magnetic fields. And as usual, if you have an electric field going in or out of the screen and a magnetic field the other way, that gives you motion in the direction E cross B, going outwards and outwards and outwards in all directions. So that's how you produce this strange combination of electric and magnetic fields that are at right angles to each other. You accelerate something, a charge. You take a charge and accelerate it, and you will get a ripple of these things moving outwards. You can work out the equation for the electric, radial electric field. If you have your central point here, and you have a radial vector going out there, and you have an acceleration in this direction here, also a vector. Then it turns out, we won't derive it here, but it's fairly straightforward to derive, that what you need to work out is the component of the acceleration perpendicular to the r vector. So if that's a right angle there, this is a perpendicular. And the equation you get is that the electric field due to the radiation is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught minus the charge 
perpendicular vector over c squared r. So what's that telling us? You're going to get the strongest field when you go out sideways, because then a perpendicular will be the same as a. When you're going along the direction of acceleration or right angles to it, a perpendicular will have no size. And if you go back here, you can see that's what's going on. You have large kinks going out sideways and very small kinks going at the top and the bottom. So when you accelerate something, you send out radiation mostly around its, the equators at right angles to its acceleration and less and less along and behind the direction. The other thing you can see is that the electric field is always go at right angles to the motion. So the, electric, the waves always go out radially from whatever was accelerating, but the electric field is always at right angles. A perpendicular is always at right angles to the R vector. So if you're down here, the electric field is in this direction, going backwards and forwards like there. If you're in this direction, it's going up and down like that. Over here, it's going up and down like that at the poles. There isn't any. So, this electromagnetic radiation doesn't have to be a slab. It can be any shape at all. And it's produced whenever you accelerate charge. And it mostly comes out at right angles to the acceleration. Those are of course the dependence of other directions.